welcome back. Tributes have been pouring in this morning for the actor, director, playwright and raconteur Sir Peter Ustinov. Sir Peter died last night at his home in Switzerland. The 82-year-old, whose career spanned 60 years, won two Oscars for his acting and awards for just about everything else. This morning, his agent said he was a wonderful, warm human being who would always see the bright side. Here's John Draper. Peter Ustinov was from the old school of British drama, intelligent, widely read, with a huge breadth of interests, which informed his acting, writing and directing. He was born shortly after his parents arrived here from Russia, born in Britain, conceived in St. Petersburg, he used to say. His first screen appearance came in a government film during the war, aimed at boosting the morale of recruits. I was tried to use enough. Uh, 6211623. He remained a private during the war, but was destined for higher things afterwards. Yes, what's going to happen after this? Well, in his case, become a huge Hollywood star. He won Best Supporting Actor in Stanley Kubrick's Spartacus and added to his reputation later in life in the character of Hercule Poirot. He became an ambassador for the UN children's agency UNICEF, poking a little fun along the way. I've always thought that in difficult times that the Americans thought that UNICEF was a Bulgarian and that UNESCO was a Romanian and that they were up to no good. And he certainly has been one of the stellar ambassadors in the time that he's been with us. Everything from lobbying governments to engaging with children at their level. He loved making silly noises and being clownish, but he was a highly gifted man from an era when celebrity derived from huge talent. John Draper, ITV News. Well, the film director Michael Winner joins me now. Michael, thank you very much for joining us on the Lunchtime News. Now, you knew, knew Sir Peter for many, many years. You directed him in one of his films. He was a truly multi-talented man, wasn't he? Yeah, I knew him for 52 years. I knew him first when he was a playwright in the West End of London and starring in his own plays. And then, of course, through his... Uh, his erotic, uh, erotic, exotic film career, <laughs> and he, he was always probably a friend. appreciate that. And he was always a life. lovely fellow. He would, he most certainly would. He was a terrific fellow. I employed him as Hercule Poirot. He was very good as Hercule Poirot because Hercule Poirot has this ridiculous dialogue where he says, "I put it to you, madam, you were not in the field at three o'clock. You were in the barn." And Peter could say these lines forever and make them entertaining and give them a wry sense of humour. He was quite irascible. He was not the cuddly teddy bear he put out. He could be uh, very irascible, but then you know, so can I, and I'm a wonderful human being. So I was immensely fond of him, immensely fond of him. And even as he got older, he was still the most sharp wit, a fantastically entertaining raconteur, wasn't he? Well, he was an incredible raconteur. The last time I saw him, I brought him over for the Director's Guild of Great Britain for a tribute to Stanley Kubrick, a Life Achievement Award. He was very frail. I was shocked at how frail he was. And he mounted the podium, Ustinov, and he then did a speech where he imitated everybody at the first script reading of Spartacus. He imitated Olivier, Kurt Douglas, John. It was the funniest speech I've ever heard in my life. It was beyond belief memorable. And then he went back to being very frail again. But while he was speaking, he was robust and totally with it. Michael Winner, thank you very much. Hello and welcome to the BBC's News at one o'clock. Sir Peter Ustinov, one of the world's most versatile entertainers, has died at the age of 82 in Switzerland. Sir Peter was well known as a roving ambassador for the United Nations children's charity UNICEF. He'd previously built up an impressive reputation as an actor, director and writer. He was famous for his roles in the film Spartacus and Death on the Nile, in which he played Agatha Christie's detective Hercule Poirot. Nick Hyam looks back now on Sir Peter's life and work. I'm keeping your passport. He was an actor, author, playwright, diplomat, and a great teller of tales and jokes, like this one about a German border guard who'd seized his passport. He said, I'll be honest with you. Every day when we come to work, before we start, we are forced to look once again at all the photographs of known terrorists. And I knew I'd seen your face someday. <laughs> He was born in London of German, Russian, French, Swiss, Italian and Ethiopian ancestry. At school, they thought him too clever by half, as one report revealed. It was written by the headmaster who said, he shows great originality, 
which must be curbed at all costs. <laughs> He made his film debut in 1944 in The Way Ahead. His film career was to last almost 60 years. In the Hollywood epic Spartacus, he won the first of two Oscars, but his work as a writer and a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF was just as important as his acting. Extraordinary talented man, you know, sort of I was thinking about him a few minutes ago, and I was thinking that as Coward wrote himself for talent to amuse, Peter not only had that, he also had a talent to help others less fortunate, and particularly children. Uh, Ustinov, the showman, was Ustinov. That was Ustinov, the man. In 1978, he played Agatha Christie's Belgian sleuth, Hercule Poirot. Lucky? With me, it's the exercise of the little grey cells. Luck, I leave to the others. He directed plays and operas, appeared on television, wrote books. In Europe, they revered him as a man of immense culture. In Britain, we'll remember him because he made us laugh. Well, then it was time for me to go to school for the first time. I remember it vividly. School in London, I was six years old. There was a large oleograph on the wall of the classroom of Jesus Christ holding a boy scout by the hand. and with the other available hand pointing out to the Boy Scout the extent of the British Empire on the map. <laughs> Put it down to my foreign background, if you will, but I was pretty sceptical from the start. Well, among Sir Peter's friends is the film director, Michael Winner, who joins us live from London. Mr Winner, good afternoon to you. Uh, Sir Peter will be remembered for lots of things, won't he? But what for you was the most outstanding? Well, Peter's most outstanding achievement was to be Peter Ustinov and to be very witty and a bane and charming, great mimic. He mimic, mimicked me better than anybody, and many famous people have done me. Uh, I first met him in 1952 when he was a playwright in London, starring in his own plays, and we remained friends for over 50 years. I employed him as Poirot. He was particularly good at that very dreary dialogue of Poirot's where he says, you say you were in the field, madam, but I suggest you were in the house. He did that sort of stuff with a great twinkle and, and made it bearable. Uh, great raconteur, of course. Quite irascible. He was not the cuddly teddy bear he put out. He could be very irascible indeed, but then so can I, and I'm wonderful as well. Uh, I, he was a great friend of mine, a great, great friend. The last time I saw him, I brought him over for Stanley Kubrick's uh, Directors Guild Life Achievement Award, and he was very frail. I was very shocked at Peter, but he got to the podium and he delivered a speech where he imitated everybody at the first script read-through of Spartacus. He did Olivier, he did John Gavin, he did Kurt Douglas. It was, without question, the most brilliant 12 minutes I've ever seen anybody do in my life. And, uh, and, 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 and what about his work for the UN? Because that was very important to him, though, wasn't it? Yes, he, of course, uh, as many actors do when they uh, work isn't quite as frequent, they work for the UN and he did it wonderfully and he was a kind man and he cared about people uh, and he had very strong views about life in general and he was an all-round wonderful person. I'm very glad to have known him. I shall miss him greatly because we used to bump into each other all over the place. It was always a pleasure. I won't bump into him now. He's up there. All right, Michael Winner, thank you very much indeed for your...